Yeah. To my dear brother, we need to look at each other. We appreciate the person, not the young. Now I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm going off. Kiruna ba umo mo rasunana. Yeah. Now things were aligned because I was meant to be with Sepa Cha. How did Sepa take it? Tepo was running with it. Oh, Tepo was. Yeah, Tepo was spilling the boy. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my channel if you are new here thank you so so much for stopping by for returning subscriber thank you so so much boo on this channel we're going amazing outings i'll show you amazing things to do and it's an overall lifestyle channel yes <laughs> yes today we are so you all know that i cater for everyone on my channel right so today we are going to be speaking about the lgbtq community and I'm um, just giving y'all advice and answering y'all's questions. And of course, I have a special guest. Reappointed to Listen. some, introduced to others, Listen. your boy, Karabo Kekane Kasibili, in Thank the building. You. Thank you. Thank Karabo, you. Y'all yes. <laughs> can already see that it's going to be a vibe out here. So please. Honey, around. the tea that will Listen. be spilled here. Get a tune in. Bona. Fill up your glass. Make sure you've got a drinky drink. Let's chat. Listen, so mm. we are drinking red wine. Definitely. Can of Yeah, to my dear brother, we need to look at each other. We appreciate the person, Cheers not the young king. Cheers. Okay, okay, thank okay. you. So guys, I asked you guys, um, I put that anonymous tip off thing on my YouTube and asked you guys to ask me questions and you all did come through. So thank you so so much as always. So we're definitely gonna be answering your questions. So we'll start off by answering the questions, and then we'll get into the big story that Ukarawa has for us. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, I just wanted to clear clear this the streets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what what do you what do you your sexuality? Okay, so I so am one hundred percent gay. Uh, the boy is one a proud a proud member of the flag factory, representing. Um, more will unpack as we chat, mm -hmm. but I am not a double adapter. Mm -hmm. I am not. I am one hundred percent gay. Thank That's you. me. Thank yes. you so much. So of course, yeah, I'm straight as a as a ruler. Yes, child. A ruler. Marabati ne spaghetti. Boss, faga si straight up until spaghetti man That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm Yo, saying. No, guys, you know what, man. Mina, I will die. I will die on top of a chest and daughter cats. Mina, Go sneak park I too. believe in you. <laughs> no, Mister, but you're a good ally. Thank you so much. Mm. All right, so let's get into it, guys. So first one is let me just start off like a bit cool. Let's not get into the heat. Okay. Are you close with your parents? Oh, definitely, one hundred percent. Um, fortunately enough, both my mom and my dad are still alive. So I am very, very close with my parents and more so now uh, with being an adult, you know, um, the conversations that we have regarding things like sexuality mm. and understanding of how a person is, yeah. it, uh, they are much more mm. on a deeper level. So mm -hmm. I get along with my parents 100%. Yeah. Yes. No, your, I, I also do 100% get along with my parents. Thank God. Also, fortunately, they're still both alive. So mm. I really do get Amen along with my that. parents. Yo. Thank God, blessing. it really is, it really is. So yeah, 100% of my parents, um, obviously I think with me, because I'm a girl with my dad, mm -hmm. um, it's a bit more difficult to express such, mm -hmm. but with my mom, as, as I'm getting older, it's much easier to be speaking about all these things and being open. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we are close with our um, parents. Next one is, so you don't have feelings for the opposite sex at all, not even a little bit. So like, this is like, in terms of like, you don't have feelings for girls. Uh, at all. No, like zero, cha zero. <laughs> like, let me tell you, like I, okay, I can like see, uh, like I, yes. I can say, um, okay, okay, you've yes. got a nice body, you yes. delicious, you this, you that, you know. Mm. But specifically, when it comes to sexual attraction, mm. um, no, it's a zero friend. Zero. Uh, but otherwise, identifying beauty and seeing your beauty and being, uh, minatini, um. Like just being intrigued and finding you beautiful, mm. I, I would say yes, yes. Woody. That yes. I, I, yes. I see that. 
But Ubuti man just directly sees in yam a butcher and a maslake. No, my love. <laughs> no, my love. <laughs> Um, me in mm. terms of the same sex, obviously for me, yes, not at all. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I do see beauty, as yes. exactly. Like yes. yeah, this girl's got a nice body, she's gorgeous, or whatever. But in terms of me being like, you're now I want to get into bed with this person. Nah, it's not me. Okay, so let's let's put it in a way yeah. way like um. About I kissed a girl and I liked it. You, you, you're not Guys, a girl. Can I tell you? <laughs> I went to an all girls high school. Right? Mm, okay, I okay. never, ever yeah, had yeah. any feeling or anything for a woman. Okay. Never. And I came out straight, guys. So, yeah, yeah. And I'm still straight. You are the child. How did you discover your sexuality? Um, you know, growing up, no? um, and playing around with uh, a toys or Mandomazana yes. instead of. Boys toys. I, yes. I I always preferred to ugarumgusha, mm. like I was, yes. you know, um, and with seeing those things and abandu growing up constantly saying, eh, mm. you know, I, I, it really, it never really meant anything. It never really landed. Yes. But once then I started getting to high school, that's when I was like, man, mm. there's something different here yes. so i would say it was when i was in high school because of now mm. i started seeing like cute boys i started like getting all these feelings that i didn't understand where else i would ask myself why am i not like other boys yes. why am i not feeling feeling these feelings yes. for girls like yes. how other boys are yes. why is it is mine redirected mm. towards the same gender as me mm. so i would say it was when i was yes. in high school yeah, that's okay. when i actually realized oh, mm -mm, mm. i smell a rat <laughs> yeah with me i'm mm. always i think from even a young age like when we started you know when you start hitting puberty now you get feelings yeah and i've always been attracted to men like mm. i had i think my crush back then was justin bieber you yeah know? yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, justin bieber. you were that girl yeah, yeah. i was that girl so, yeah <laughs> yeah i think it's it's high school i think that's when you honestly develop your feelings i mean you hit puberty yes. and you start seeing and feelings and hormones that's yeah when, you know how do you mm, deal with the yeah, totally. sex hitting on you oh wow um i do yeah. get <laughs> that quite yeah. a lot to be quite honest with you because uh Londi is my girl so i can queen i can queen out whenever i'm with Londi. i can yeah. be like my full me to yes. the fullest extent yes. you know? so but a, a, a lot of people would mm. would say to me th they cannot see the fact that i'm gay i don't know if i should take that as a compliment but i mm. generally think it's not yes. uh, but i ju i just come right out and say you know what uh thank mm. you but mm. the one thing that you want from me yes. nami i also want it so <laughs> how <laughs> how oh, are we going to do it <laughs> How are we going to make this happen? I mean, I can offer friendship. That's yes. the best I can do. Yes. But the as rest. for the rest, no, yeah. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just let them know that yes. I now I'm a member of a flag factory. So yeah. <laughs> also, another question that I have adding on to that: mm. Can we talk about like the categories, especially like in the gay, like like Uti, Are you a top? Like okay. those type of things and the categories. If you can just yo, there is quite mm. a lot because of uh. It, People prefer different things yes. and with me being the age that I am now mm. um, and I came out when I was 21 and now I'm like uh, 32 yeah. so kind of like within the 10 year gap I've, yes. I've, the, I'm still learning myself but mm. uh, the main ones that you get you get your your top you yes. get your bottom you get your versatile mm. you know? so top clearly means they are the men in yes. the relationship mm -hmm. and then you would get at the bottom which yes. which means they are the guys that prefer to be or that uh want to be the uh the bottom like yes. they're the ones that are on like the, the receiving the, end like the girls part you, of it. yes okay. they're the girls part of it okay. and then you get you get somebody like me who is a versatile so mm -hmm. not both ways i can i can do it whether I'm receiving it or yes. whether I'm the one giving it. Okay, so you're the versatile. Yes, but now, as well as with versatile, it, it varies mm. as well. So you get your vest top, yes. then you get your vest bottom. Okay. So now, because now I'm in a relationship, I'm a vest top. Because okay. my partner is a bottom. Okay, okay. You understand? Okay. okay. So, yes, I'm versatile. I can still mm. take the 
eggplant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that emoji. Yes, I can yes. still take the eggplant. Um, and I can still receive it, but mm. because of the relationship that I'm in. And this is, quite honestly, yes. how I prefer it. Okay. Yes, I prefer it to be in a relationship as a vest top because mm -hmm. I prefer to top more than I prefer to bottom. Yes, okay. yes I can still bottom, mm. but I would rather top. Okay. And one thing that uh, people actually, <clears throat> just to um, yeah. add on to that answer. It's close for me, oh, mm. I talk mm. a lot. No so one thing that I've actually noticed with uh, Abandone, people take mm. a, a person's attitude or a person's demeanor or how they are. You see, now mm. I can queen out with you. Mm. And then now you automatically judge me uh, or you automatically think that I'm a bottom yeah. just by how I'm acting. Yes. And that's not the case. Okay. Oh, you will be shocked, yes. child. Yes. No, we need to understand yeah. these things. Th th there's yes. quite a lot. You, you, yes. A person's preference doesn't... Yeah. You, you can't tell it by... Because of now you're seeing him calling other girls chummy and then you automatically think that this person is a bottom. Mm. It doesn't work like that. Okay. The, I can still call you chummy. Yes. I can still queen out with you. Yes. But when it gets to my field, I, I can be a top. I yes. don't want to be bottomed by anybody. Okay. Or I, I can be a top. I don't want anybody to yes. kind of like... Okay. Yeah. Makes that sense. makes yeah. a lot of sense. Mm. Um... Adding on to that now, this question I think follows on. It says, I don't understand the concept around bisexuality, but I think you did explain that in the... No, actually not. No, no, no. no. It's different. No, bisexuality, bisexuality. Is, 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 is different. It, okay. it, it's a different ball game. Uh, no, nah, I'm gay. Uh, so, I, I like I said when I, at the beginning of the video, so I prefer same gender as me. That's what gets me going. Yes. So, when you are bisexual, it, yeah. like... Um, it still forms part of I'm an alphabet with LGBTQIA, yes. isn't it? Yes. Uh, yes. But uh, it's basically preferring both. Yes. And it's that's still okay. Yes. That's still okay. Liking it both because of you might find um you still like um, the kitty, mm. and then at the same time you you still want to be with another gender. You know. Mm. Like yo, to me this lente yo is 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 quite intense, especially when it gets it to that is. department. So yeah, um, it is. like, but I always say for me, I mm. wouldn't mind my man cheating on me with a man because no, for, real, for real, because I feel like I can't give you what that man can give you. But then that so, changes the dynamic to me altogether. How? Because of now, if which means now they're gonna be cheating with you. With a man, yes. oh, is, is is it more of a fantasy or like a relationship? No, like a fantasy. Okay, like, like if, okay. If you're playing around with a man, okay. I, it's not that I would be happy, but I'm saying I, I wouldn't mind because for me, I feel like if you're gonna cheat on me with another girl, it's like what does U Sharon have that I don't have? So I'm the Sharon man. I also have a a cooch. Yeah. But oh, you want Sharon's cooch? What's the what, what? What is Sharon doing better? So if he's with Ukarabo, I'm like, oh man, he clearly wants it behind. I mean, I can't give it to him. It's sometimes it's not even the case, Chibi. You might find Uti, he, he wants it behind him. Yeah. Mara, the masculinity behind that arouses them. Hmm. You know, as as now I'm growing, ne? Chibi, I'm discovering more and more yeah. and more about the LGBTQ community, Chibi. There's a lot, especially when it comes to, because of you get straight people that are let me, let me just put that in inverted commas straight people that are married and have kids but they do have that sexual fantasy of having a guy yes you know not um in most cases them being yes. the bottoms yes but just you know i don't know how to explain it got one i get you mm. i get you so like it's like they they want to sort of feel like they 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 the man. Yes, yes, yes. yes. The, the man part needs to stay that way. Okay. You know, whether it, it, it's with the same sex yes. or whether it's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one is, I don't get how, I don't get it. How is one gay or lesbian? Like, is it something that develops or something that you're born with? Hmm. Okay. Um, in my own opinion, um, I would say you're born that way. Mm -hmm. But there are other people where you find in situations where people, do, like a person didn't legit know that they're gay. Like that really happens, you know. Um, you might find out maybe later on in your life when you are married with three yes, kids. And then now you, you, you discover that actually, man, this is what, this is who I am, you know. So 
I would say that you, know, you are born that way. Being okay. gay can never be a choice. Yes, straight men can, some can choose to have uh, sex with gay people, mm -hmm. but not because of their gay. Yes. Yeah, but if you are gay, you are born that way. That's how you feel on the inside. You, you can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. It's like even when you say you're being bisexual, you can't run away from yeah. what you feel on the inside. It's, it, it's who you are. But I think some also, don't you think it's society at times? Like, people see things on social media and people say, oh, the LGBT community, oh, you know, Nami, I want, you know, to feel it, or, I don't know. Like, people being likers of things. Yes. Um, especially with the perception, yes. oh, not necessarily the perception, a, a lot of gay guys are mm -hmm. successful. Yes. And yes. Then, so, real. Um, with the world that we're currently mm -hmm. living in now mm -hmm. and with what we are seeing today yeah and uh, some straight guys are starting to lean on to that because of now mm -hmm. yeah, not everybody like likes but so yes, now like, yeah. hence why i was saying that other people it's not that necessarily that they're gay but as you as you grow yeah. you know, uh, the views that you had about yourself mm -hmm. or or change yes. you know because if you get to discover more parts about you yes. uh, that open you yes. up to other things that you wouldn't have thought when you would allow yourself to do True. you know True. so others i would say blatantly it's just curiosity baba it's because of their like of likers of things yes they want their money they want the lifestyle so i'll sleep with this guy he'll give me money still i'm not gay you yes. know Yes, yes, yeah. I feel you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's okay. like a job. It, it's a gig. Sense. You know? Yes. Yeah, I'm getting my coin. Yeah. I'm getting my bag. I'm, and that's that. Um, yeah. The question is, okay, mm -hmm. no, let me just get into this. How do you set the scene when, when coming out to your parents? Mm. Lena. Yeah, yeah, this one is, is different. This one, it varies because of now. Uh, it depends on the type of relationship you have with your with parents. parents. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, for me, with my can I... Can I tell you how I came out yeah. to my parents? Uh, or what should we leave that? Yeah, okay, okay. The okay. Yes. Yeah, I, I would solely say that um, it, it would depend on the on the nature of the relationship you have with your parents. Yes. Um, so the, 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 there's no particular scene that you would mm -hmm. set, but I think just by letting them know who you yeah. are and they are your parents they it's know who you are like they know yeah. who you are yeah, yes already. i think they can see it yeah. as well because i mean you, okay. you how do you become so confident as a gay or lesbian person yo hey. through a lot of trial and error let me tell you mm -hmm. guys uh I, I, when i was in high school i went through a lot of bullying it's something that i generally don't talk about but i was because of i was in the closet mm -hmm. i was bullied a lot Okay. You know when you when you you, you give people the power, mm -hmm. then the people will then come for you. Yes. But then when you realize yourself and you come onto yourself, mm -hmm. you realize your own power. Then yes. you that's when it's 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 something that comes with just you accepting you. Yes. Then that way yes. you are confident in doing what you want to do, and as well as having friends and family that supports you. Because of you know you've got your loved ones that have your back and love you for yeah. who you are. And just to add on to that, I think that it's just it's just a thing in general. Like mm. if you're confident in yourself, yes. no one else can tell you anything. Her. And I, I that's what I learned because I mean I wasn't comfortable in, with myself at all in mm. high school. I think I only my comfortability only came when after high school when I was doing first year. But now I started accepting myself, accepting who I am, mm. and loving myself yes. that you have to love yourself first and that's actually a big else. thing it is it, it, it might mm. actually sound like a cliche like when you, people say love yourself but you really have to love yourself you guys like, Minanya Estrella, Minanya. Minanya. yeah yeah it's for nail girl yeah yeah because yeah. you know for nail so for nail no for nail you have to love yourself guys. cool then mm. the next one is how did it feel once you came out to your family oh so liberating especially with the res like especially with the love that i received after yeah. coming out you mm. know it felt so liber like i felt like a boss like i felt like nobody won't tell me nothing because of now if my family says boy do you yes. like who are you to who come and tell me yes. like your opinions yeah, are like zero matter. like they don't matter you know like so Yo, it's mm. liberating. Mm. Like yo. Next yeah. one is was you comfortable with your sex? Were you comfortable with your sex sexuality? 
Um, growing up, no. Okay. Growing up, I would say no because of uh, at the, at the time I was still also trying to find me. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was still in that battle of why am I the only one feeling this way? And I was somebody that went to church quite a lot, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. with the religion part of it, yeah. you know, uh, feeling like. Why would God make me like this yes. if then you are going to condemn the exact same thing? Like how? Like mm -hmm. balance me, make it make sense, mm -hmm. you know? So it was you. your... Yeah. But I also think um, you it comes to also being comfortable with yourself as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And and once you became comfortable, it was much easier So to deal with okay. also. How long sense. did you yeah. realize... How long did you realize you were actually gay? I'm not going to send this question though. Or maybe they meant to say, oh, did I always know I was gay? Or when did I Yeah, when did you realize? When did but I, I didn't realize? ask this question, I think, in the other... In the other. Okay, yeah, it was... Ask? No, the other question was, uh, yeah, when did I realize? Yes. Uh, we spoke about feeling different when yes. I got to high school. Yes, yes. That, that was when... Okay. Yes, yes. Also, um, that one. Did you in ever encounter stigma or discrimination from straight people? Yo, show me. Mm. Yo, you don't understand. Like, I've got a scar here. Somewhere here. I don't know if you guys can see yes. it. I was actually gay bashed. La, I was hit with a brick. Uh, so, just to give you a little story time. Uh, but I'm going to summarize it quickly. So, I was out with my boyfriend, mm -hmm. uh, with Alex. And, I, you know, I love Alexander till this very day. Yes. I still go there. I've got friends there. I've got family there. So, uh, I was out with my boyfriend and uh, we weren't even like being cozy or holding hands or whatever, but just people knowing that you're gay, you yes. know? So, when clubbing, it was nice, it was fun. Um, after that, when we were done, when we were going home, some guy just came up with a brick and just like yelled the slur, stubborn, and bah! and hit me with a brick on my face. Show me, see, I've got this guy here. Like, for no reason, like, out of the blue, like, out of nowhere, like, just like that. That is hectic. And then... Yo, show me. And then, like, uh, and you can imagine my boyfriend at the time, he's yes, coloured, yes. and I brought him Alex because I stayed oh, in Alex. Do you understand? Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. So, yo, he was so worried. Like, that guy, fortunately enough, he, he mm. didn't, like, mm. stay around to hit me some more. Yes. Like, so he just hit me once and he ran. You know, and then uh, we got into the car, and yeah. then we went to a clinic, and then they just stitched, stitched me. You yeah, but that is hectic. Imagine your having trauma. a scar like from your eyes. Yo, no. But I think I always say, like, when you go through these true. things, mm. it makes you a stronger person. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, yes, it does. It really does. It, it does. So, Pele I don't know what I've got another bottle. Yeah, I've got another bottle because, yes. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel, Amanda, this wine, I'm feeling it, guys. Mm. Oh, uh, uh. Yeah, so you're not sure. I'm not sure. Yo, are you serious? That's yeah. someone literally landed you because they of They landed me to me oh. and they hit me. And uh, my boyfriend was so upset. She, he was like, you, you know what? There's absolutely no way. Yes. You, we, we are coming back here. You need to move out of Alex. This place is not right for you. Mm. But nah, hey, I, I was like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not yes. leaving this place. I love this place. I'm going to stay here. Yes. Um, and I stayed uh, there for yes. about another year before I moved out. But I moved out because I got a better job. Yes. It yes. wasn't because of what, what. Okay. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Yeah. So, but I mm. has he he ever dates, have you ever dated girls? And if, and, and have you said to the girl? And if you did, how was it? <laughs> Yo, okay. So, yes, I have dated girls. Yes. And yes, I have slept with girls. And it showed me, oh. <laughs> oh. I need to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Show me, legit, ne? Uh, the only, what I, I, I hated about it, ne, was it almost turned me into a, an, an alcoholic, real talk. Because what would actually <laughs> happen was, if I know that U Ulondi is coming to see me on the weekend, yes. like, I will have to drink so I can get it out. You know, oh, yeah, like if I'm if I'm legit like sober, like and now we we here trying to get it on, girl, it would not even. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> girl, it would not even try. Get it even if we say it's lala na yo, lala na yo zobuga tolo. Ah. 
It almost turned me into an alcoholic to me because of now I had to make sure Uguti every time I'm gonna see a girl I need to be drunk and it, <laughs> not just Uguti uh, I'm gonna have a few glasses of wine or whatever mm. like I need to drink so that when I me in, gone. Y y not necessarily gone but mm. I need to be like yes you're gonna so that when I'm with you I can easily imagine the mandras and the spewers and the what what as we are <laughs> Lamza ring and what what so it can <laughs> and we can do the deep chum and it would I, chum, nah, I never enjoyed the this experience the, yo chum okay yola mm, don't violate chum yes you're hot yola hi chum it wasn't for me chum mm. I, I I I did it once not I, I mean I didn't do it once I didn't do it I did quite a lot because I yes. like I dated like Amato Masanda like, yes. but Yo, it wasn't for you. Ooh, it wasn't for me, Shim. It wasn't for me. Only when I left home and I moved out of home to go to Alex, mm. that was when I was like, okay, you know what? Uh, I can be me here. Yes. Nobody knows me. Abang Zibi, Abang Zibi, you yes. know? So I can actually yes. be who I want to be. Yes. You know? But yes. when I was a Kaya, a spread view, yes. then I would need to be the Garabo with the girlfriend. And oh. I, I, yes, I, I would I would yes. do my shady dealings underneath. Mm. Like I'd be after nine, you know, mm. when darkness falls, the vampires are out. <laughs> yes, I'd be that one. Be that person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to say, which one? When I type, ne? What do you mean? Yes. Makalat is your time. Gashle gashle na chum. Oh. Gashle gashle batanda mi na. Oh. Like, okay. Because of, like, uh, both of them. Yes. They were the ones that came to me. Oh. I didn't go to them. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you know, guys. Attraction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they wanted that chocolate <laughs> uh, uh, eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> Before coming out of the closet, mm. who did you confide in about your sexuality? Yo, uh, my best friend at the time, mm. uh, growing up, Ukwen, yes, was the one who knew my undercover dealings. Yes. Like she was the one who I was honest with mm. with everything. Yes. You know, uh, even though I did have girls, yes. but she would know about my undercover like yes. that would be the person that i would feel free to disclose That's anything it, yeah. and yeah. no judgments but just love and you one need way. that type of person going yes. out, yeah, especially when you're establishing yourself mm. um how was your first relationship with a guy Ooh. and when was it yo okay <coughs> um it was like not 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 the the after nine yes. situ dealings, but an actual relationship. Yes. Ne? Okay, so it was mm. it was when around two thousand and one. Yes, because I think I came out with two thousand and one. Okay. So around two thousand and one, now I needed to come into the field yes. and actually understand how this whole works, mm. how this whole thing works. Excuse me. Mm. So uh, my first relationship was with this guy. Um, his name was Troy. Yo, he used to drive me crazy. <laughs> like, like I was so in love with him. Like, mm. you know, when you mm. fall in love, like that teenage love yes, type of thing. Yes, like, yes. I feel like, okay, I just came out, I got my man, yes. you know, so mm. you're yes. forever, Lana. Yes. Yeah, even though uh, he was somebody else's man child. <laughs> but, But so he gave me the love that I deserved at the time. He gave me the love I deserved. And you know what? Um, yeah, so he, he, yeah, he's the one that really kind uh, of like taught me the ropes. Uh, and uh, was he older? Yes, he was. Oh, okay. Yes, he was. Oh, okay. But it wasn't too bad. I think it was by three, four years. Oh. It wasn't too bad. But, but he was in the field for much longer. Okay. And while I was still yes. like new in the game, new in the game, okay. outside of being an after nine, now actually owning and living the life to mm. say this is me, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Um, I think you answered this question, but how you? Oh no! How did your family receive you when you came out of the closet? Yo, let me give you a little story time, Sha. I've yes. got a lot of those. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. What had happened what, was my colored boyfriend, the one that uh, yes. was with me when I got uh, gay bashed in Alex. Yes. I was dating him at the time. 
So, um, I worked at the Fine Eyes in Midland, Pretoria. Yes. And uh, my parents, okay, at first I worked at the Fine Eyes in Melrose Arch. Ne? So, and then when I met him, I got a job that side and then we, because he was also working in Pretoria in the yes. same hotel. Yes. And then we stayed together. Mm -hmm. So my parents would always be like, no, uh, when are you coming home? Because now the boy was, yes. yeah, not coming home anymore, yes. living the life. Because yes. the boy was an exec chef. So you know. I was taking care of child, yes. everything. Yes. <laughs> so my parents yeah. were like, no, uh, you haven't been home in a while. Are you okay? What's going on? When are you coming home? Mm. We want to meet this person that's yes. keeping you from coming home. At that time, I, I haven't come out to them yet. Yes. Uh, but they still know that obviously yes. I have a girlfriend yes. at the time, yes. you know, so um, uh, I broke up with my girl mm. and then after I broke up with my girl, I stayed without going home for almost maybe like eight months to nine months. Okay. Then when I went, I took my boyfriend. I was like, you know what? My parents say they want to meet the person that I'm yes, staying with. Yes. So, and the person that I'm seeing. Yes. So let's go home. Yes. And then we went to my hometown and then... Uh, when I got home, I found my mom and my dad there. And then uh, we were there for the weekend, not just even yes. for the day. We were there for the whole weekend. Yes. Um, and then I introduced him. I was like, mom, dad, yes. this is my partner. You're saying that you want to meet the person that mm -hmm. is keeping me from coming from home. So this is the person I'm in love with. Exactly like that. Yes. This is the person I'm in love with. This is who I'm staying with. Okay. And then both of them were like, okay, just as long as you guys take care of each other, yes. please love each other. Yes. We don't want any dramas. Yeah. You know, like just good advice. You know, mm. it wasn't a mom, dad. Yes, it wasn't a shaking tot of. Okay. No. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> It was it, like, yeah, this is it. yeah. This I was like, happening. yeah, this is the person I'm in love with. This yes. is the person that I'm seeing. Yes. Uh, so yeah, this is the person that I'm staying with. Okay. And then they received them well, Papa. and we are we moved on from that. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. No, that's good. That's good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then last one is um, how how is how is anal sex? Is it painful? And how do you make it less painful? This one is I need to know this one because wow. <laughs> Okay, first, you gotta want it. First, you gotta want it. You know? Um, I would only say uh, it, it's only painful for me. I don't know for others, but yeah. speaking for myself, uh, it's only painful when you guys start. Mm -hmm. Like that first, like yes. that first pop, like yes. that's the one that you will kind of like. But that isn't every time. Um, it doesn't with get me, better when you get used to it. I think if you are a full-time bottom, then it gets better. Okay. Because of, um, with me, because I'm a verse top, ne? Yes. whenever mm. I will have to, like, bottom, mm. then it becomes that. It's like my virginity constantly grows back. <laughs> and I have to deal with that over and over and over. But it's only that first pop. Mm. Ne? Even, yes, lubricant makes it 100 Percent better because of yes. yeah, it's not gonna yes. like our cate again, all of those nasty things. Mm. But even though you and I, it's there, yeah. still that first pop, your child, yeah. <laughs> but after that first pop, um, as you guys get into mm. it, then it gets better and better, and then you relax into it, then it, yeah, it becomes nice. But most importantly, you, you gotta want it. You need to relax it. also. Yes. Also you need to relax your muscles. Yes. You need it's to, the same yeah. like with us also. Yeah. You need to, you need you, to relax. Yeah, and you gotta want it. Yes. Yeah, you gotta want it. Because yes. if you, you know, if you don't want it, you gotta want it. You gotta yes. say, you know what, I'm gonna take it. And there it is, you know. <laughs> and as well, one another important thing, getting a partner that knows how to listen to your body. Yes. You know, that's another important factor because with us, you, you guys have a natural yes. lubricant. Yes we don't yes. you know so whenever you want to slide it in and you see that i'm like jumping away yes. you know like you gotta understand that okay i need to be slow i need to be gentle i need to yes. you know you you can't just boom mm. you know yes. ah yes. no you can't <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta want it yeah you gotta want it because we've reached the end of the questions mm. Now we are getting into the story of the stories. Now yes. you can talk. Now you can talk about it. Uh, now we are getting to Karabo's coming out story. Iskata! Iskata, Sindaro. Child, let me spell this tea. 
Wait, I need a refill for this. Guys, not okay. because I asked. Okay, and you know, I've been having this. Oh, no, yeah, double munch. Munch, I'm giving it. Yeah, munch. So, um. Mm. I'm still going to try it. Yeah, no. But I'll drink water, Tommy. I'll drink water. Before you go. Thanks. That I was taking away my 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 Ford. Excuse me. I said no drinking and driving it's lab okay. Yeah, but I need to chill my drink water and we're still chilling. So yes, even no. if after this we're still gonna chill for a while. Yes, I'll and have then... a couple of bottles of water yes. and I'll stay around the corner yeah. so it's not so bad. Cool. You know? <laughs> so um <laughs> Mm. How I came out, ne? Mm. okay, you already got the part of how I came out to my parents. Yes. So Iskata was how I came out to my friends. Mm. So yeah, that's the Iskata. And I thought that would be easier. It, it, it wasn't. It, okay, let me get to the okay. tea. Let me spill the tea. Okay. So what had happened was uh, I was staying with a straight friend of mine. Yes. Ne? Mm -hmm. So when we moved in, we worked together uh, when I was still working at Greenstone Retail. Yes. So we worked at the same retail store. Okay. And we decided to get yeah. a place closer because mm -hmm. of both of us we were staying very far. So that's how we, we moved into Alex. Okay. Um, and at the time I was yes. still in a transparent closet. Yes. yes. And uh, he still knew me as somebody that likes girls. Yes. So sure. um, I was with a straight friend of mine. And the straight friend of mine uh, was dating some girl, and that girl that he was dating had a gay friend. Okay. So now it's the thirty first of December. Um, I can't remember the year that I came out lab. It, yeah, but it was the thirty first of December. We were going go cheeks, go to boom, like it's guys go fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Yo, you know, you know. Oh, you know. <laughs> We were going to oh, a 15 there was some yeah. event there so we had bought tickets you know they were calling they, they called some big celebrity i can't remember just to go to it was mm. uban mm. and then um so we got to the event and we were having a jump so now oh before we get there yeah. uh sips or oh, my my straight friend uh his name was sippy so but we call him sips yes. so sips's girlfriend arrived in our flat uh, okay. Alex, with the gay friend okay and when they walked in us gays we can see each other trust and believe we see each other immediately yes. you know and because of i was still in the closet at the time i was a little bit upset because of now i know that he's going to see the real me yes. and now he's going to out me go the girl that sips is dating yes. and the girl will tell sips and then sips will like type of mm. thing and i valued sips's friendship me and sips we never ever not even once yes like he we met at work and we our connection was like brotherly instantly you know so uh so after that yeah. we, we, we we had pre-drinks in the flat we were drinking yes. getting ready for the party then yes. after that we went to get a chicks okay we got what chicksy we bought drinks google mm. and yeah the yes. setup was good yes. so now you know most your boy starts drinking we're having shots we're having this we're having this then your boy starts getting drunk yes. once i'm drunk again yeah, yeah Drunk men's actions, yeah. sober men's thoughts. <laughs> yeah, that was me. So now, you know, you're, I'm craving now. Um, Utsai for this guy that uh, as I know is girlfriend gossips. Yes. And now I'm making a national broadcast. Yeah. What chicks I made is the I was like, me and in a relationship. Some was the love of my life, and you guys will not tell me nothing. <laughs> National broadcast. National broadcast live on Madeline. <laughs> that was me. Now there was quite a lot of us because of you know when we were young, we bought these tickets to go to this event. So it was like some. Uh, it was our friends and some extended friends. Yes. Yo, I made a national broadcast. I was like, me and Saipo, we love each other. And I don't care tomorrow if you don't want to be my friend because of me and Jay. You can leave me alone. Now I'm drunk. Hey, I'm going off. I'm going off at these people telling them how much I love Saipo and me and Saipo. We're in a relationship. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine how gagged? My no. friends were, because now they know, I've got a girlfriend, but she couldn't come for the event yes. at the time. 
So now, <laughs> gake, gake, now things were aligned because I was meant to be with Sepa Chang. <laughs> And after that, okay, they just let me be. On the first, I was the only one working. Mm. So we partied the night away. And then we went to go sleep for those few hours. And then I woke up and went to work. And I left everybody in the flat. Yes. So now I'm at work. I'm thinking, shit. I just told my whole life story. Karabo, what did it's you just do? <laughs> what did you How did Zepo just... take it? Tepo was running with it. Oh, Tepo was. Yeah, Tepo was feeling the boy. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tepo was feeling the boy. Tepo was running with it. And, uh, like, we, we didn't sleep together that night. Yes. Ne? But, like, yeah. I went to work. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. When I was at work, I was filled with regret. I didn't want to knock off because of, I knew what I had to go face. Yes. But the gag was, when I came back from work, uh, it was around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not so long, just after people had actually woken up. Yes. Uh, because of they were sleeping the whole entire time. Yes. And they were like, and so, where Nano Tepo, Karabo, is there something? Like, it's going to clarify, because yes. now you are sober. Yes. And I was like, I said what I said. Yes. And I that was me. That. Yeah. Yes. And that's on that. And they were like, Boy, we always knew you were in a transparent closet. We are just waiting for you to come out and say it. Yes. But you know what? We still love you. You're still mm. our friend. That's good. And yeah, they embraced me. Okay. All, all of, and even Tepiso, yeah. the one who I was most afraid because of now, uh, of how I viewed yes. our friendship. Yes. I mean, yes, we did shower together. We did, but it wasn't even anything sexual. I wouldn't even be aroused yes. because that's how much of a brother i viewed him and yes. still till this very day i still view him that way mm. like so he, he, getting him to say hey boy not your support mm. yeah, but you know now nah, i'm not yes. Yes. but but, but i support you so mm. uh, whenever we go to groove we'll help you find a guy you help us find girls yes. plus whenever you are gay so you'll get us the <laughs> girls you know like it, it was like it, it, it became like a match made in heaven. We understand that. Yes. So they embraced me, they supported me, and it was such, once well, again, mm. a happy moment for me. It felt mm. liberating. I felt. As well, I'm sure. yes. Like a weight off your shoulders. Yes. Yeah. Now I can actually be me mm. and do what I want to do and not feel ashamed, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, so are you guys still cool still to this day? Till this or very is it? day. Okay. Till this very day. Yeah, yeah, Zep 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 is my yeah. Yeah. Hello. hello guys, hello guys. Hey, so 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 bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Yes, mm. So we we covered how you came up to your came out to your parents. Yes. That was good actually. At least yes. they, it wasn't like a whole like thing where you see. Mm, well, mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. You were just like this. No, this I was like this. My yeah, partner. this is my partner. Yeah. This is who I'm in love with. Yeah. This is what we're doing. Yes. And that, that's that. And they were like, cool. As long as you're happy, we're happy. We support you. We love you. Yes. You guys must just take care of each other. Yes. That's it. 100%. Wow. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much, babes. Thank you, my friend, for having me. We have reached the end of this video, guys. Guys, <laughs> tell tell us if you want part two, if you've got questions yes. about what we spoke about. And you could if you picked up a few things and you want a part two, girl, we'll give it to you. 100%. We mm. got you. Thank you, babes. Thank you so, so much. And say thank you to Karabo. I didn't say how we met. So Karabo and I are mm. colleagues. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're so the same company, industry. hospitality industry. Yes. Love it here. Yeah, we cannot name the company, but yeah, we are no. in the hospitality yes. industry. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yeah. advertising here, yeah. no child. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, people get to you. So, yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you reached this point of this video, definitely let us know if you'd like a part two and we'd be happy to do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, my friend, for coming thank through. You. Yes, you know what? Got a vibe, guys. I get it. Vibe. Listen. Thanks. Like, subscribe, and share. And like, subscribe, and share. And comment. Please. And comment, please. Also, yes. Thank yes. you so much. Oh, again, thank you so much to 500 subscribers, guys. Oh. Oh, the girls oh were gay. We love you guys. Road to hundred. Mm -hmm. Road to thousand. Road to thousand. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll definitely see you on my next video. 
Bye. Love you. Bye.